I got really this cheap starter button that looks like a Civic Type R. <laughs> I'm gonna place it right here. Ground triggered starter. Chicka, 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 chicka. Vroom. I know I've not been uploading so often because I'm trying to find the mood to do wiring. Because when you do wiring, you really need the mood to do it. If not, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, because you need to put like full concentration when you're doing wiring. You don't want to be all over the places because wiring is quite crucial. You might like screw shit up and you don't want to screw shit up because it can lead to fire. So we don't want that and I don't want that. That's my excuse of not doing the videos so often. I just want to focus on this and really get into it. You really have to go inside the whole car. You have to vision everything. You have to just sit inside the car and be one with the car. Yeah, wiring is crucial. And you need to focus. And I lost my heat string. Found it. It's weird. I drew out all the diagram, the wiring diagram that I need to do Like the basic wiring for the ignition and stuff But I don't laugh at my diagram because it's not a pro diagram <laughs> There's a lot of liquid paper stuff If you guys are curious how did I learn it? YouTube, a lot of YouTube and asking my teacher. I got this cool printer where I can print out labels so that I can label my electrical stuff. So I'm gonna print starter for this. I'm not sure whether the size is right, but yep. Starter. Uh, pretty useful for this. So everything stays organized. Let's stick it here. There we go. So that you know that relay is the starter relay. I think it comes pretty handy this thingy majiggy. I have done all the, the power harness done. The, so basically I have the starter, e-throttle, fan 1, fan 2, ignition, injector and VPTI, ECU and dash. Separate fuse box is going to be behind for the fuel pump, controlled by two relay. So it goes all the way behind. I'll be running two fuel pump, one is the in-tank fuel pump and another one goes behind that controls the pump from the search tank to the front of the car. This is the fuel filter. So all the headache for the power cables done. Now is for the real headache. ECU harness. Boom. There you go. This is where the real headache comes. It should be easy. So right now, I'm going to compile them in a mili military spec connector. This is what you call a military spec connector. You compile everything in a bunch, like a bulkhead. 
and once you detach this everything that is connected from the engine will be disconnected so it will be easier to take out the engine it will be fast and efficient and this very nervous about doing because I only got like one shot to do this because I only got like the right amount of the terminals you must be asking why these terminals and this socket is not cheap so I couldn't afford to buy more of these terminals and because I don't have the budget but it's a pretty cool gadget and I'm very nervous because if I screw up that's it that's it update on what have I already done this is going to be the wire harness inside the car where it's connected to the fuse box and where the power distribution is going to be at this is to the ECU everything is a concentric twisted it took me a very very long time to finish this up so everything has to be like done slowly so it took many days many weeks to finish this up this one goes to the fuel pump and wires it comes power dis distribution um, the dash the pedal and this is my layout for the harness that is gonna be for the engine so what I did here is I got this thing from Lazada <laughs> it looks like a box but actually it is a English dictionary <laughs> it is an English dictionary uh, kind of like a secret case where people are supposed to stash their stuff in here but I decided to like modify it and make it like a junction box so I drilled the holes for the mill spec which is this one from the cockpit into the engine bay and another mill spec connector is going to be here distributing to all the engine plugs which is this layout that I did with a string this is going to be my layout for the engine harness and yes it took a lot of time and I'm very proud of the whole entire thing it looks like everything's going well so I hope you get some understanding of uh, how is it going to be oh yeah by the way Lexi is back everyone's asking where Lexi is let's get back to more wiring In cabin wiring is almost done I've did the, the resistor for the fuel gauge there's gonna be the resistor and the capacitors needed to be wired on the fuel gauge because uh, you don't want it to be a raw reading that your fuel level goes up and down because of the slushing so there's a capacitor to like dampen the raw reading at a very fast rate it won't mess up your reading so that's why that's one of the complicated part it has to have resistor and the capacitor I did the fuses and the relay for the fuel pump that I mounted behind there so whatever is in front is in front in this fuse box whatever is behind is at there um, I've also modified my place my workspace because it's freaking hot I've modified a tent onto my gate I can be under the sun and work <laughs> right now I'm gonna work on the wiring for the search tank and the fuel pump let's go
so I'll be done of the cabin wiring. So happy. Now I'm gonna move on to the engine wire wiring harness. Yeah, looks like good progress, guys. I got a haircut. So hello everybody, here's a recap. I've done the engine harness, this is the ignition, the injector harness, um, the throttle body, everything is clean. I just got one more harness to do. This one is all the temperature sensor and the other stuff, the Michelin stuff. So I'll just do this off cam, but I've really done the main harness, which is the ignition and all. This is gonna consist the trigger and the temperature sensor. Inside, we got all the relay and fuse done on this panel. Everything we got fuse, you got the connectors for the panel. This panel is gonna be on the dashboard over here, and I got my ECU mount. This gonna, ECU is gonna be here. I actually failed on this, this was supposed to be in the dashboard, but I did a mistake, I did not do it long enough. <laughs> So I had to improvise and put the ECU over here. My mistake. Map sensor. Then we got the ground kill switch over here. The wire goes behind for the power for the fuel pump 1 and fuel pump 2. Fuel pump 1 is going to be in tank. Fuel pump 2 is going to be behind. And I got my high ref 9240 already put this over here and i got my pedal the next thing i need to do is a bracket for the electronic uh, pedal and yes that's about it for this episode of the 2jz wiring i'm very happy with the wiring i mean i put a lot of hard work in this and i'm so so happy i'm happy how it turned out it's neat and clean for me and man wow what a journey i learned a lot from this wiring thing and it was fun if you have ocd then it's not fun but anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of the fabrication part. There's going to be more and more fabrication going on. And yeah, that's about it. Wiring. Done. Like 99% done. I just need to do one more mil spec connector. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Whatever you're doing, click it up. <laughs>